Today I'm in El Cajon, California. If you're into the early cars, whether it's Model T's or horseless carriage cars, even later cars, you probably know who Ray Wells is. Ray Wells has made close to a thousand car bodies by hand, wood bodies. I'm here today to uh, take a look at the Model B body that Kim Dobbins brought down the end of last year to Ray. Ray's had to do extensive work on it. And uh, I think he's coming out of his his home right now and he's gonna spend a little bit of time today and uh, share with us what he had to do with that, with that B body. So Ray, just real quickly if I can, because I don't want to take a lot of time, I know you're busy. What did you have to do to the B body when it came in? It was it was primered in red, and it kind of looked good, but it wasn't good. <laughs> had to change the whole uh, wood on the base. They had quarter inch plywood on the base, and had to take that all off. They put it on incorrectly, painted the framework, and which meant the glue didn't stick. They put in cork, counter counterbalance, or counter some screws which doesn't hold a quarter inch plywood they put on there so the whole base was done incorrectly so I put a whole new base on it made new, new frames front frames and, and new uh, rear door frames actually repositioned the, the rear seat too it was too far forward and you had mentioned to me something about the front of the body here how these are set at an angle and they should have been set straight. I don't think you want to talk about that part. So we're in primer right now, and then is it a point right now where it's going to get a, a paint job? Yeah. The color's being mixed right now. We, we duplicated it off of the, off the, the hood. And it's going to be as close to that as possible. Very dark green. The dark green. Here's some other bodies that... Ray's working on in the shop. At any time, he'll have up to half a dozen cars that he's working on. And again, he's been doing this pretty much full time since sometime in the 80s, right, Ray? Yeah, 85. 85. And again, he's done to date close to a thousand bodies. Don't take too many pictures in here, it's a mess. <laughs> It's an artist shop. Yeah. We got an artist for a metal, metal guy. They're right there, look at that. He made that, all of that. Corners and everything. He's, a, he's an artist. You should see some of the other stuff he's done. He's completely rebuilt this DeSoto back here. I was kind of looking at that when I came in. When this, when this came in, when, it, when they brought this to us, somebody had... Well, it had been made to do a pickup at one time. And, and then the, the, then the next owner wanted to put it back to being a, a roadster. So they, they actually welded panels on here, losing the bead. The same way up there, they welded panels on there. My metal guy had to cut all this stuff out, make it all new. And then he made all new panels, panels with a belt line, same way with that one up there. All new drip rails. And, uh, and then a lot of other repair work he had to do on the sides. The man is an absolute artist in what he does. Now, what year is that Studebaker? No, it's a DeSoto. Oh, a DeSoto, I'm sorry. 29. 29 DeSoto. And that's, a, that's the second one this year I've done. <laughs> 29 DeSoto. What's the chances? <laughs> so, so again, Ray's, Ray's pretty busy. So I'm going to just kind of walk around the bee. And the next time I upload a video, it'll be painted and uh, probably still off the chassis.
So again, this is taken at Bray Wells' place, who was very gracious in allowing me some time, because he's a busy guy, as you might imagine. And that's it for me, and I'll let Ray get back to work. Thank you, Mr. Wells.